Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Here's what taxpayers need to know about filing an amended return. IRS Tax Tip 2020-145, October 29, 2020. If taxpayers discover a mistake on their tax return, this is not necessarily a cause for concern. Most errors can be fixed by filing a Form 1040X Amended U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. There's a link to the 1040X here. So if there's an error on the tax return, you discover something is missing on it, or you miscalculated something or miskeyed something within the tax return, then you may be able to amend it with the Form 1040X. The 1040X also might be able to be uh, filed electronically depending on the year that is being amended, which is a relatively new uh, item for filing purposes and a very exciting one. Here are some common errors people may need to file an amended return. Entering income incorrectly. So you may just miskey the income. There's no balance. There's no like double entry accounting system on the individual income tax returns to kind of check, uh, give a, a check against that from happening. So it's quite possible that you miskey something as you input the data input and uh, have the incorrect amount there. Not claiming credits for which they're eligible. So it's quite common. Some of the credits can be a little bit complicated to calculate and possibly someone didn't didn't uh, claim the full credit that they were eligible to do so and therefore would have an incentive <laughs> to want to file an amended return. Claiming deductions incorrectly. Deductions, again, obviously another area where some miscalculation could be miscalculated to put the information in incorrectly or simply just miskeyed once again to to. Uh, errors that could result in the need for an amended return. The IRS may correct math or clerical errors on a return and may accept returns without certain required forms or schedules. In these instances, there's no need for taxpayers to amend the return. So oftentimes, if it's just a math error and the IRS has the information, the IRS will simply correct the error and probably make the adjustments for you. So if you did miskey something on like a W-2 uh, type of income information. Well, the IRS has that on their side. So it's it's quite likely that they'll catch that without even like needing to do a random audit. You know, the computer is going to be matching up the W-2 information that they got to what was on the tax return. And they will most likely send you a letter saying, hey, there's a mis, you know, th this is looks like what we have here. This is what you have. Do you agree with this? And if you do, then accept the new calculations that we have put together. And you can push forward with that. And that should and that may then uh, take care of it without actually having to file a Form 1040X, which can be somewhat of a tedious, time-consuming task. However, if you're talking about something like a 1099 miscellaneous income that needs to be reported on the Schedule C or something like that, then uh, the IRS, even though they might have that document, they can't really tie it out in the same way they can with a W-2 because it's going to be combined with a bunch of other income on the income line on the Schedule C. And if you're talking about things like a credit, then they can't really double, they can't double check all the things that would be involved in whether or not you would be qualifying for a credit. So if you didn't, if you didn't calculate the credit, you're probably, they're probably not going to catch that and say, here's, you know, more money <laughs> for the credit on, on that. Same with like uh, deductions. Deductions are, are a type of thing that you're going to have to calculate outside of the system. They don't really have the information. You have to keep the information in case they audit you so that you can verify the reporting that you provided, but they don't have the information to kind of correct it the way they would on something like a W-2 type of, of uh, income. Back to the text. Taxpayers who do need to amend their tax return might have questions about how to do so. Here are some things they should know. Taxpayers may now use tax software to file an electronic Form 1040X. So you can actually file it electronically. This is a new kind of thing that's relatively new. Very exciting thing here because the 1040X used to have to be filed paper by paper. And it's really easier to do it electronically, you would think. So uh, at this time, only tax year 2019 forms 1040 and 1040SR returns can be amended electronically if the original 2019 tax return was also filed electronically. So it's basically 2019 returns and going forward, if they need to be amended, can now be done so uh, electronically. If you need to amend something prior to that, then you, you do the paper filing format. Now note, of course, the tax software will still typically have the ability to complete the Form 1040X and help you to do that. However, if it's uh, prior to 2019, 
then you weren't able to actually file it using the electronic filing system and therefore would have to print it out of the software if you're using software and then uh, send it in by paper. So taxpayers who cannot, cannot or choose not to file their 1040X electronically should complete a paper form 1040X. There's a link to that here. If filing a paper form 1040X, mail it to the IRS listed in the form's instructions. There's a link to that instructions here. Uh, under where to file. So that's where it will be on the instructions, where to file. Taxpayers filing form 1040X in response to an IRS notice should mail it to the IRS address uh, indicated on the notice. So if you got a notice saying, hey, we think you should amend your tax return and your response uh, is, is to amend the tax return, then you, you're not going to mail it back to the place on the instructions of the 1040x but rather to the address of the letter that was mailed to you attach copies of any forms or schedules affected by the change so the the process for the 1040x of course is something like this you got your prior tax return that you had if you have tax software you want to make a copy of it if possible so that then you can basically make the adjustments to, to get the 1040 where it should be after the changes have been made the corrections to the 1040 then you can use those differences in order to complete basically the 1040 x which is going to compare one to the other show the differences and then show any added refund or any amount due at the bottom of the 1040 x and then you got to basically uh, mail that in and you and you're going to have to include anything that's going to be necessary to tell the irs um you know about those particular items those line items on on the 1040 x that had changed so any schedules that are affecting uh the change you got to give to the irs you want to label uh the the documents as basically that these are the original documents and these are the 10 the re amended documents that they can show the irs and then they can see the difference and go to the uh, change documents if they need further information about it file a separate form 1040x for each tax year when mailing amended returns to the irs place each tax year in a separate envelope and enter the year of the original return being amended at the top of the form 1040x so if you have multiple years you're amending you did you basically want to mail them in separately typically and uh, have all the information grouped together per year for the 1040x uh, that is being amended wait uh, if expecting a refund for the original tax return to be processed before filing a, an amended return so if you're looking for a refund if you had a refund you might want to wait they're suggesting here to wait uh, to get the refund otherwise you might confuse the process of the sending out of the refund and again you don't want to confuse the irs because that can make things take uh, longer <laughs> so pay additional tax owed as soon as possible to limit interest and penalty charges so if on the other hand you're amending the tax return and you're going to owe more money or and even if you think that's the case and you're kind of getting around to amending the tax return you might want to pay the the money uh sooner so that so that uh you can uh because you're going to avoid penalties and interest so if they owe you a refund then not a big deal because they because they owe they owe you the money they're not going to be charging you penalties and interest on that fact if they hold on to the money a little bit longer they see that as a good thing because of time value of money however if you owe them money then they're going to charge you penalties and interest and the way to avoid that is to pay them as soon as possible to lower the amount of interest and penalties that uh, might be might be charged so if you're amending the tax return and you owe them money then uh, you want to do it sooner so that you can yeah, as soon as possible so that you can basically lower the amount of, of penalties and interest that would accrue on the process so taxpayers should file form 1040x to claim a refund within three years from the date they timely filed their original tax return or within two years from the date they pay the, the tax whichever is later so that's going to be the this you know if you're thinking about well how far back can i go to amend the tax return Typically, the rule is three years. More specifically, let's read it one more tax time. Taxpayers should file Form 1040X to claim a refund within three years from the date they timely filed their original tax return. So basically three years from the filing of the original tax return or within two years from the date they pay the tax, whichever is later. So that's kind of like the statute of limitations. That's kind of like how long you got 
to, to go back and make the make the change. So track the status of an amended tax return three weeks after mailing using Where's My Amended Return tool. There's a link to the Where's My Amended Return tool here. For uh, more information, we have the interactive tax assistance. Should I file an amended tax return? Topic number 308, amended returns. Form 1040X, frequently asked questions. There's links to those items here. There'll be a link to this in the description.